uh, high school football games tonight. Do you think uh, they're going to play? I think, well, where are they? Fort Myers? Oh, I think Fort Myers will be okay. We have some storms that are quickly moving, so if there is a rain delay or a lightning delay, it's not going to last for too long. These storms are moving at about 15 to almost 20 miles per hour. This one into Naples is uh, no lightning with this one. This is just rain. This is pushing off to the north and west, right through Gulf Harbor, uh, right near Mediterra, Naples Park. This is going to be pushing off to uh, areas into the Gulf momentarily. What I did is put a storm track on the back edge of this line moving through Barefoot Beach. Things will wind down at about 640. So just under a half hour from now, but then this storm will kind of move right back in right on top of Davis where it meets uh, uh, down through parts of 41. The shower going to continue to push off through Livingston and also where Livingston reaches Golden Gate Parkway. And then it will stretch back off into northern parts of Gold, uh, Goodlett, Franklin Road. So this will kind of continue for the next few hours. The larger thunderstorm that already moved through parts of North Fort Myers and Cape Coral is already into Charlotte County. So these are pretty fast moving. This is the strongest thunderstorm we have. Big lightning producer and it will continue as it pushes out into uh, Charlotte Harbor and then back over into Cape Pace Peninsula. This line right here is about a 45 minute line. So just south of Rotunda within the seven o'clock time frame. We could still have a few more storms develop around Fort Myers. But like I mentioned, anything that does develop is not going to last the entire night. Here's the wider view to kind of give you a perspective of where the shower are. There's not many. There's only about a handful. Again, strongest one moving into Charlotte County as we speak. Fort Myers dry for now, but a few lingering showers based on the boundaries that are still occurring still in the cars. Boy, is it dark out at Cape Coral from the view here. Temperatures are at 90 degrees. It feels about 99. You didn't get that rain cooled air for today. For tomorrow, rain chances are going to hold off again a little bit later. By 4 o'clock, rain chances will pick up around the region and then linger into the night. Take a look. This is our future cast for tonight. By 830, we could still have some showers around Fort Myers, around Cape Coral, stretching down 41. I think this might be overdoing it just a bit, but keep in mind the rain showers will be the bigger story versus the lightning for tonight, except for that one storm moving into Charlotte County. For tonight, uh, we'll see those storms kind of fade away. Once we head into tomorrow, very similar to today where we hold off until about three, four o'clock to get any significant downpours around the region. This is four o'clock and then things start to become a lot more abundant. When we're trying to go to Friday night football Friday, five o'clock isolated downpours around Lehigh. Then once we head to sunset and thereafter by 630 downpours through Cape Coral up through Babcock Ranch and by eight o'clock it's lingering along the coastal spots. So that's where we might run into some problems for Friday night football. Different story on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday will be their own separate days. I know it's the weekend, but also a little bit of a change of pattern. More onshore flow will limit rain opportunities along the coast and push them inland. So by Saturday, six o'clock, Note a lot of the rain showers and thunderstorms are going to be for Glades and Henry County, but that could also give us the possibility of some morning showers along the coast. So kind of a flip flop of a weekend for Saturday and Sunday rain still there, but not for everybody. What to expect in the tropics? Not much for us. Our biggest development chance is this guy, this little tropical wave that's pulling away from the United States. Nothing is threatening Florida. Nothing is threatening the United States as far as any tropical development. We could see a ton of rain from this area that's just bringing some tropical disturbance and kind of some messy weather through parts of Louisiana. For tonight, we'll watch those scattered storms hang around. High temperatures tomorrow at 93 degrees. Wind still out of the south southeast. And then by the weekend, it's a little bit more humid, if you believe that. Saturday and Sunday, where rain chances are farther inland, they return to the coastlines into next week. That's your first alert forecast.